It's a journey on mental health from a depression to expression. And it really focuses on uh, how to keep healthy, you know, before the book is written, before the gig is booked. Um, and it really comes down to really uh, resilience and overall joy in our life and how to bring that back into our life. And there's real techniques like one minute stress releases that we can all do at work. Um, so it's really practical ways. It's not dealing with clinical depression because I am not uh, qualified to deal with that. So it really is a lighthearted approach of how people within their workplace can keep healthy and really keep in touch with what they're going through and take mental illness into their own hands and know that they have the power to you know, find the coping skills to deal with it or get help if they need to. But I find there's a lot of humor in that, but it has no lap over to other things that I'm doing. Um, it also, like uh, another things in there, are put a spin on what's stressing you. You know, so if the photocopier isn't working and you're always screaming at it or you get stressed driving a certain way to work, you know, there are things that we can do to adapt, to avoid, to change all those things. So it really gives them the power to take their own mental health into their own hands and really take care of themselves. Um, it's a really fun one, and I, I tell stories because uh, I had my first uh, creative failure when I was eight. Uh, <laughs> I know, I'm really good at that. Uh, but uh, I, I used to love doing Mr. Chinigan. Do you remember Mr. Chinigan, where you draw a face on your... We'll have to do it at a party one time. Uh, <laughs> uh, where you draw a face on your chin and you lie upside down and your bottom lip becomes your top. It's super funny, and it used to kill at all my friends' birthday parties. <laughs> Right, so I'd have a sleepover. I'd just be like killing it with that as a comic, right? And then I decided to do it at my talent show, right? <laughs> yeah, but what I didn't realize is I'd be on the stage and everyone was too far back to get it because I'd been doing it at all my friends' sleepover parties and no one was laughing and I'm like, what happened, right? So it really is about taking a chance and knowing that you're going to be okay at the end of it. And that failure is okay, and it really teaches us, you know, all those things like resiliency again, which is such a key word in all of this.